Hey guys, tonight we're talking about example of what a narcissistic woman will do. Um, I have a narcissistic friend I graduated with. She recently came home to state and she's been hitting up all her old friends, right? Which me being one of them. Um, this girl is a girl that I kind of developed feelings for a little bit. Um, she's a good looking girl. She's a pretty girl. You know, she's my age. She's 40. I'm 40. Um, so of course we have a lot in common, right? We went to the same high school. Um, but her thing guys is she wants to just, she wants me to be her like boyfriend during the week, you know, doing all this caring stuff for her, but she doesn't want to be there for me. You know, nights like this, I'm, I'm literally at my apartment alone and she's out with some other fucking random guy, you know, um, people she may have been dating before she even hit me up. I'm not sure. Um, the thing with narcissistic women is they keep everything secret. They keep it all hidden. Um, I wish I knew what was going on just from my own knowledge. Um, if I had to guess, she's at a bar right now with some fucking loser. Um, some of these girls with really low self-esteem, like, are they're literally their own worst enemy. I mean, take me, for example. I'm trying to do the right thing. I'm sober. I'm not drinking tonight. You know, I'm doing the right thing. And uh, she's at the bar right now, probably with some fucking idiot she's never even met and probably fucking the guy tonight. So this is like, uh, this is pretty frustrating for me being the friend. Um, she wanted me to give her a ride to work in the morning. Um, how would you guys respond to this? I, I find it really, really kind of cold what she's doing to me because she wants to friend zone me. But she still wants to take advantage of my resources. This is what narcissistic individuals do. You know, like she wants me to bring her to work in the morning, you know. And the way she worded it tonight was really kind of rude. She's like, thanks for picking me up in the morning. It's like, if that ain't gaslighting, what is, right? Because I never offered to pick her up in the morning. Um, this girl drinks a lot. She's an alcoholic. So a lot of the shit she does really probably don't make sense. Um... The other thing with narcissistic and borderline women is they have a hard time setting boundaries. Like when you're trying to date somebody that has borderline or narcissism, things like that. Some of these people have a really hard time setting boundaries. So like let's say she's home tonight and some random motherfucker that she knows hits her up. These are the women that are just going to run right out the door with these guys because they have no boundaries. They have no morals, no ethics. I mean, here I have been acting like the boyfriend, husband all week, doing all this caring shit for her, driving her around, doing all kinds of loving, caring stuff. And she just, she's at the bar with another guy tonight. That's a perfect fucking example, guys. Um, you really can't win with women in 2023. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Uh, the dating game out here is just ridiculous, you guys. Ridiculously, I call it hopeless. I mean, the dating game seems to be hopeless right now with social media and the influence of Facebook and things. You meet a girl, she's talking to fucking 20 guys at once on Facebook. Um, you got 10 guys trying to fuck her, 10 guys trying to hit her up, 10 guys trying to fucking hang out with her. You know, in this case, my friend's an alcoholic, so she's at bars. And what are, the, what are these guys doing at bars? They see a good looking girl like my friend. They're going to hit on her. They're going to try to fuck her, hang out with her. So guys like me that are trying to love this bitch, I got no fucking chance, you know what I mean? Because this girl just wants to this girl just wants to drink and be at these bars and fucking run around with these random guys. And uh my thinking is where are these guys during the week cuz I don't see them around during the week. So they're obviously just coming around on the weekend to fuck this girl. That's all they that's all they're there for and this girl is so ignorant that she doesn't see that. Because I'm thinking to myself, where are these motherfuckers during the week? I never see these fucking guys around. But funny how they're always here on Friday night to pick you up so that they can have a big fuck fest all weekend, right, with you, right? Um, I think the best thing I can do, friends and family out there, is probably just cut ties with this fucking girl. Um, it sucks, man, when you care about people. Like, I really, really genuinely care about this person. I mean, she just crashed her car driving drunk. She just got an OUI. So, you know, I want to care about her. I want to be there for her. But this girl is really, you know, playing games with me, as you can see. I mean, it, just an example of what this girl does. I mean, I was at her house the other night. You guys, you'll find this funny. I was at her house the other night, and 
thinking, hey, we could spend the night together, you know, like we could like watch a movie tonight, hang out. I wasn't even trying to fuck her. I was just trying to hang out and watch TV on a couch with her or something. You know, we had hung out for a while. She, 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 we, I think we got on the subject of ice cream or something like that. So I was like, you want me to run down the store and get you an ice cream? I get back from the store and she's like, tells me she's going to bed. She chucks my ice cream in the freezer and says she's going to bed and that I can hang out a couple minutes downstairs if I want before I head out. These are the fucked up things that these fucking weird ass fucking borderline narcissistic women do. I know exactly what happened, guys. When I was at the store getting the ice cream down the road, she was on the phone with another guy. She's texting. And he's saying, Who that who who's that there? Who's that? Didn't I fuck you last weekend? Who's this fucking guy? And so then she's gotta tell me to leave, right? Because of that anxiety. The the other guys are putting anxiety on her, asking who the fuck I am there or something. Like they might be jealous because they fucked her last weekend. They wanna fuck her this weekend. So they want to get rid of me, right? They they feel like I'm a threat. So I get back from the store and she's already kind of like asking me to go or saying she's going to bed. That's because she talked to those guys on the phone or whoever it was. Whatever guy she's dating wasn't okay with me being there. So that's why she had to ask me to fucking go, right? Um, I don't know why the fuck I waste my time with bitches like this. I really don't. I think I think a lot of it was my traumatic childhood. I mean, I was physically abused as a like a nine-year-old child I was being beaten by my father um so I think that's as an adult why I, I put up with so much fucking abuse and garbage from friends and family and stuff like that because I was mistreated growing up um so I think that's where narcissistic abuse happens guys is when we allow ourselves to be abused by staying in the relationship um like you know what I told this girl tonight guys I told her I said you can take a cab tomorrow um, because she's ghosted me for two nights in a row, obviously with this other, whatever other guy she's dating, she's date, she dates multiple guys at once behind my back. I don't even know these fucking guys, never met either one of the guys. Um, she has, she told me on the phone when she first started hanging out with me that the last couple months she was dating two guys, guarantee neither one of them know about it, guys. It's, it's crazy. But, um, I guess, I guess the point of this video is, um, you have to get to a point where you set boundaries with these women in your life. Let's say they're narcissistic individuals like this person. Um, she does some borderline stuff too, like the push-pull. The pushing and pulling is kind of a borderline symptom. Um, but narcissistic women do that as well. Um, so, you know, you're going to see a lot of heartless behavior from these type of women because they lack empathy. Um it can be really hard for us boyfriends, guys, because, you know, like, like she does, she does exploit me and she does manipulate me. You know what I mean? Like, she knows I care about her. She knows I love her. You know, she knows I want to be with her and spend time with her. So she does fucked up shit like she's doing tonight. She's at the bar because she thinks I'll just forgive her about it and act like nothing happened. Um, I am kind of upset about it because I care about this girl a lot. You know what I mean? But how I handled tomorrow, I said, you can take a fucking cab tomorrow because I'm not going to have you gone for two nights in a row, obviously with other men. And then you're going to have the audacity to act like I'm going to pick you up tomorrow. This girl has lost her fucking mind.